Imagine waking up one morning feeling sick, only to discover the thing making you ill isn't a virus or a cold, it's alive. A creature feeding on you from the inside out. These are not science fiction stories, they're very real cases of disturbing parasites that have been found living inside humans. And once you hear about them, you'll never look at your own body the same way. In 2018, a woman in Oregon felt what she thought was just irritation in her eye like a strange eyelash, but when she pulled at it in the mirror, out came a small wriggling worm. Over the next few weeks, doctors removed a total of 14 worms from her eye. The species was identified as Thalassia gullosa, a type of eye worm normally found in cattle. The parasite is spread by flies that feed on tears. When the flies move between cows, they drop larvae into the eyes. Somehow this cycle jumped into humans. She had been horseback riding near cattle pastures where flies were swarming. For weeks she lived with worms crawling across her eyeball. It was the first documented case of that specific worm infecting a human. Doctors said the worms were feeding on the moisture and proteins in her tears, something they'd normally get from livestock. The horror of actually seeing a parasite move across your own eye, knowing it's not just one but more than a dozen, that's the kind of experience that sticks with you forever. There are few parasites as feared as Nicleria fowleri, better known as the brain-eating amoeba. In 2011, a Louisiana woman using tap water in a pot developed severe headaches. Within days, she died. The amoeba had entered through her nose, crawling along the olfactory nerve and begun consuming her brain tissue. This parasite thrives in warm, freshwater lakes, hot springs, and poorly chlorinated tap water. And although infections are extremely rare, are almost always fatal. In fact, fewer than five people in the United States are known to have survived the infection. Symptoms start like meningitis, fever, nausea, and headache before quickly escalating into seizures, hallucinations, and coma. The disturbing part is how fast this happens. Once symptoms appear, the infection often kills within just a week. People who contract it usually had no idea anything was wrong until it was too late. The fact that something invisible can crawl into your head while you swim or rinse your nose it makes this one of the most terrifying parasites ever recorded. 2018, a man in Fresno, California walked into an emergency room holding a plastic bag. Inside was a five foot section of tapeworm that he'd pulled out of himself while using the bathroom. Doctors estimated the full worm had been over 20 feet long. The species comes from undercooked salmon. Once swallowed, the larva latch onto the intestinal wall and grow endlessly, feeding off nutrients. Some remain small, but others stretch out out like ribbons, taking over the digestive tract. The man said he ate sushi at least five times a week. For months, he suffered stomach cramps, constant hunger, and strange sensations when using the bathroom. At first, he thought that he was imagining it. Then came the day he discovered the massive worm coiled inside him. Tapeworms can live in humans for years, sometimes decades without being noticed. While they don't always cause pain, they can rob the body of nutrients to the point of severe anemia. Knowing that every bite of food you eat is getting shared with something that shouldn't be there, that's terrifying enough. Realizing it's over 20 feet long, that's pure nightmare fuel. A man in Florida returned from Belize with what he thought was just a mosquito bite. Days later, the bite began to swell. Soon he noticed it was warm to the touch and oddly painful. Then came the squirming. He could actually feel something alive inside his arm. Doctors quickly discovered the culprit it was a human botfly larva. Botflies are large, hairy flies that use mosquitoes as their delivery system. They lay eggs on mosquitoes, which then transfer them to humans when they bite. Once inside the skin, the larva burrow and feed on blood and tissue, growing larger every day. The man had been living with a larva that was growing under his skin, eating away at him from the inside. Removing them often requires suffocating the larva with petroleum jelly or tape before pulling it out whole. Bursts, the tissue can become severely infected. The idea of an insect literally being incubated inside your body, that's bad, but when you actually feel it moving beneath your skin, 
pushing against the surface becomes one of the most disturbing parasite encounters imaginable. In 2020, doctors in Indiana treated a case so extreme it made national headlines. The person was brought in suffering weakness, fatigue, and dizziness. The cause shocked the medical team. It was a massive infestation of lice. Now, there weren't just a few crawling on the scalp, there were thousands. The infestation had gone on for so long, the constant BLOOD loss from the parasites caused severe anemia. The person's hemoglobin levels were critically low, requiring immediate transfusions. While lice are usually thought of as an annoyance, this case showed how deadly they can become when they're ignored. Each tiny insect feeds on blood, and in huge numbers, it can drain enough to destabilize the body. Doctors describe the site as overwhelming, an entire scalp just blanketed with living parasites. The case is a rare reminder that parasites we dismiss as minor can, under the right conditions, become life-threatening. 2019, doctors in Texas were shocked to find a tapeworm living inside a man's brain. He'd been suffering from seizures, constant headaches, symptoms that led doctors to perform scans. The images revealed a cyst, but when surgeons opened it, they found something alive. It was a wriggling worm. The infection was caused by tiny solium the pork tapeworm. Normally, this parasite grows in the intestines, but sometimes the larvae migrate into the bloodstream and lodge in the brain. The condition can cause seizures, vision problems, and death if it's untreated. The man had probably eaten undercooked pork years earlier, but the parasite had remained dormant, only causing problems once it matured. I mean, the idea you can carry a parasite for years without knowing it, only for it to wake up inside your brain, no less. That's one of the most uh, terrifying things I've ever heard, maybe. 2018, a woman in Russia noticed a strange lump on her face. At first, she thought it was just some swelling, but the lump moved. Over two weeks, it shifted from her cheek to her lip, to her eyelid. She eventually went to doctors who discovered a worm living under her skin. The parasite was identified as Dyroflaria repens, a type of roundworm usually found in dogs and spread by mosquitoes. In humans, the worm wanders aimlessly, unable to complete its life cycle, creating moving lumps that shift under the skin. Doctors surgically removed the worm, and videos of the case went viral. The sight of a parasite traveling under a person's skin like a snake beneath the surface, that's pretty unforgettable. In 2016, a Japanese man visited the hospital after severe stomach cramps. He'd recently eaten raw salmon. Doctors performed an endoscopy and were horrified at what they saw. His stomach and intestines were filled with live worms. The parasite was Anisakis, which often hides in raw or undercooked fish. Unlike tapeworms that quietly grow for years, Anisakis larvae invade the stomach lining immediately, burrowing into the tissue. This causes stabbing pain, vomiting, and allergic reactions. Doctors remove the worms using forceps through the endoscope, pulling them out one by one. Images the procedure showing writhing parasites being plucked directly from his stomach. The case became a warning for sushi lovers. Oh, unfortunately, that's me. While most commercial fish are frozen to kill parasites, not all of them are. The thought of a dinner turning into dozens of worms squirming in your stomach is enough to make anyone second guess their next bite of sashimi. In parts of Africa and the Middle East, people are sometimes infected by a parasite that enters through contaminated freshwater. In one disturbing case, doctors discovered worms in a patient's urine. The parasite's larvae burrow through the skin of people swimming or washing in rivers, and once inside, they travel to blood vessels near the bladder, where they grow and reproduce. The eggs cause tissue damage and bleeding, and in severe cases, segments of worms are passed as well. Long-term infection can scar the bladder and even cause cancer. So something entering through your skin while swimming and taking up residence in your urinary tract, I mean, that's awful. One of the most unsettling forms of parasitic infection. In 2007, doctors in India treated a man who complained of headaches, nosebleeds, and a foul odor coming from his nose. What they discovered was well, his navel cavity and sinuses were filled with maggots. The infestation called nasal myosis happens when flies lay eggs near the nostrils. The larvae crawl inside and feed on both dead and living tissue. If untreated, they can burrow deeper into the face, even reaching the brain. Doctors removed dozens of maggots from the man's head. The smell and sight were described as 
overwhelming. Cases like this are rare, but they do highlight how quickly parasites can turn from nuisance to nightmare. Well, that makes me want to listen to some uh, death metal or something. That was intense. All that said, I've been your host, James. I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video. Maybe not, though, after that.